back, guys, to this old house. Let's go in and check out and see what we've done and what we have torn out and stuff. And just a little bit of progress that we've made in here so far. So follow me into this old house. Damn. Here in the living room, we ended up tearing out the uh, carpet and stuff. And you can see it's got hardwood floored in here. And uh, right here. Uh, right here, look at all that dirt that was left here on the floor from out of carpet. The biggest filter you have in your house, besides the filter in your furnace, is your carpet and padding. That is carpet and padding holding the dirt and the filth in the disgusting area. Let's uh, check out this bedroom in here. As you can see, all the dirt that's all on the floor here and stuff. Uh, you see a trap door right here. This is actually original, probably the original access port to get down into the basement at the time before it was added on. This was the original part of the house. So that right there was an access point to get into the basement before they ended up putting the other access point in over here to get down to the basement. Hardwood floor throughout the whole house, pretty much for the most part. Come over here, we've done this demo. Over here in this house, part of the room here, we've gotten quite a bit of blast and plaster down. I still haven't done the ceiling all the way, but I've still got the majority of it. Look at the, uh, <clears throat> so this is the original part of the house, is the adobe brick right here. This is the added on part of the house that was added on to the house with the log cabin part of the house. On this side of the house is all log, but this was all adobe on the front side. And that was the original part. But I'm going to end up studding this up, building up a wall over here to go across here to put up another wall to support the adobe here from crumbling or whatnot and take some of that weight off of it. Uh, I'll finish taking off this here to get it off. I'm not going to be able to do much on getting the floors level down because I might, I might not. But the floors kind of have a slope to it because they added on to it from the original part of the house is all level and then it slopes off over to here. So you walk down and it all slopes over. So I might, I could, but I'd have to gut this whole entire side of the house here. I'd have to gut it all off to come back in and redo the studs because they're basically floor joists, I mean. Uh, they're basically tree logs. So it was basically just a log. They just cut all the branches off and put down. So that is the why we have the slope on the floor. In this bedroom here, you've got hardwood floor through it also. Now it echoes because we took out the carpet. We, well, what the plan is, is we're gonna end up taking and putting down the, uh, this new material. It's like a plastic uh, flooring sheet. I can't remember what it's called, but it's not cheap stuff. It's kind of like that wooden plank crap. The wannabe fake wooden plank. It was made out of wood and it's supposed to be waterproof. Well, this stuff is waterproof. It's pretty much like plastic. So it's a lot more durable than that garbage. I never cared for it. Had it in another one of my rentals. It got a little bit of wet, got water underneath it, and holy heaven's sakes. Talk about a warp like no other. Bathroom here, we haven't done nothing to it yet. Um, I don't know. Why don't you guys go ahead and leave some comments or feedback on it. If I ought to leave the uh, claw bathtub in there, or if I ought to replace it and put a new tub in that now actually has a shower to it and uh, whatnot. I gotta go in here and pull this linoleum out. The whole house is gonna have that new flooring in the whole house is the plan. We're not having carpet. Let's go over here in the kitchen. So we turn out that wannabe paneling floor, the hardwood floor crap. Uh, now we have plywood down here. I think it's only a quarter inch thick of plywood. We're going to take and pull it up and I'm going to be replacing these countertops, I believe, too. Because as you can see, that kitchen sink slopes because this part of that had a 
the water for the kitchen sink, and the washing machine, it was just draining down underneath the house when I bought it. And so, found that out when I was pulling out an old oil tank because the water was starting to seep on the outside of the hole that was exposed for at least a couple months. So that's what's causing that to settle right there. Now I have to go down and do adjustments on bringing that back up and refixing all that to get it back up to where it should be at. I don't have the time or I'll just gut this whole entire side over here, put up a couple of temp walls like I've done before on another house to put in new floor joists, that will butt up against that part of the house and it would be all one level floor. It would be all smooth. But I don't have the time to do that. Plus with everything at cost right now, quite pricey. Back here, we haven't done nothing back here yet. Back here is where the laundry room's at. I'm gonna transfer the uh, washing machine back here and put it in here along with the back and the dryer. But the floor slopes with the roof. No, I did not add it on. What my plans is, is to tear it off, keep the roof part, redo it, and then go ahead and drop this down and put a whole new slab of concrete down for the uh, washer and dryer and redo it all. But it's gonna be before I do can do that, it's gonna be a minute. And then put a door back in back here. And then it will all have new studs, so I don't have to worry about that. It will be all insulated and stuff. And the outside won't have the tin on it no more. It will actually have stuff go on it. I'm also going to see what I can do on removing these fireplace chimneys here. There's no use of having these here. I don't have them in use. They're never going to be in use because there's no fireplace at all on top of the roof. It was only probably one exhaust up there, and that's for my water heater. So, we're going to end up seeing what we can do to do a lot to this house in a small amount of time. I'm hoping it don't take me a year and a half like it did on the other house, because I need to get this house back up and going and rent it out again. So, but anyways, thanks for watching this old house, and uh, I'd like to get some comments on that bathtub in there. If you could leave me comments and let me know. But like they say, if the women don't find you handsome, they ought to at least have to find you handy. You guys have a good day.